Hey guys, welcome back to my newest quick tip video. Today's tip is in regards to steel chainsaws with an impulse hose. So here's an older steel 024 chainsaw. Now this chainsaw here needed a new carb kit. After I put a new carb kit in, it was very hard to adjust it. It still does not want to run properly. Or after you adjust it, it may run properly for a while, but then shortly after you have to readjust it again. So today's quick tip is if this happens to you that your chainsaw won't run properly after putting in a new carb kit is it's probably the impulse hose. Now I've got the carburetor cover off here and the air filter. Sometimes it can be hard to see if your impulse hose is cracked. I'm just going to show you quickly the impulse hose in this chainsaw which is located right between the carburetor and the engine block over here. So I'm going to look through here with the light and just show you what's wrong with this impulse hose here. Now where you see my screwdriver is where the impulse hose is and sometimes just looking at it quickly it's hard to tell if it's damaged or not. Sometimes you don't feel like taking the whole saw apart or do a leak down test just to find out where the leak is. So this is a quick way I look through here with the light I move the hose a bit to see if there are cracks and I can see a crack in the hose right over here where my screwdriver is. I don't know if you can see it but the hose is cracked over there. There's a small hole which can be hard to see if you don't take the time to really look at it. Okay, I've got the hose out. I'm going to show it to you up close when it's dirty. It's a bit hard to see where it's cracked. Although it is cracked over here, that's what I showed you previously. It's much easier to see it now. I'm just going to give the hose a quick clean and then show it to you when it's clean. And here it is now cleaned up. Look at the damage. So definitely that will be a major problem for your chainsaw if it's cracked like this. Eventually it's just going to snap. Now this happens from wear and tear over the years. There is a lot of vibration between these parts. Another tip I'm going to include while I'm at it is the intake boot over here. If it's cracked just like the impulse hose I showed you, you definitely need to replace it. While you have your chainsaw apart, you may as well replace it if you think it's not going to last too long. If you see cracks starting to form even though they haven't gotten through the rubber yet, replace it. It's going to save you a lot of problems down the road. I often get questions of people asking me why does my chainsaw run after I replace the carburetor kit? Well these two things I showed you today, the intake boot and the impulse hose, could well be your problem. Even some Husqvarna chainsaws have an impulse line and an intake boot like this. Not every chainsaw will have an intake boot and an impulse line like this though. So depending on your saw, make sure to check these two items before you spend more money. So that'll be it for today's quick tip video. Make sure to subscribe and you'll see me in my next video. Take care guys.